And just picking up on the next uh, slide and one of our final slides, which is there's no doubt that the climate for business has changed. And I've always been a great believer in coaching. Uh, somebody once said to me, look, I've got a pretty good team. Uh, you know, I'm very light touch with them in, in, in terms of coaching. Uh, as somebody said to me many years ago, it's interesting, Roger Federer still has a coach. Uh, it almost doesn't matter how good you are, the environment you're working in changes, your competition can change, the product mix that you've got changes, what's happening generally in the environment changes, and coaching is a key part to make sure you're absolutely fit for purpose as we move forward. Coaching is also a motivational tool, remember. You know, it gives people the ability to win more often, gives them that sense of achievement. It gives you a chance to give them recognition, praise, and feedback. It gives you an opportunity to make sure that they're really enjoying the job role that they're undertaking. And especially when we're in the crises that we are in the moment, we want our teams to be 100% motivated. We do not need them to be looking and navel gazing and being negative about the environment they, they're working in. We can't have limiting beliefs in the environment we're in. But most importantly, it is about getting our teams to think about managing not only our customers for those classic return on investment opportunities, but also keep looking for what I call rope opportunities. Look out there for those, the pain that the customer is experiencing so we can help and support that customer in their business in the short term as well as the long term. And that really leads to that focusing on customer success. We want to be seen as the individual who they're talking to that is, oh, you know, here's Grant. This is the guy that helps me in my business. This is the guy that's helped and supported me through this crisis. Not, this is Grant who phoned up every three weeks to see if I had an order for him yet. And that is a huge differentiator. And a lot of customers, a lot of my customers uh, have learned that over the last couple of months, but there's a lot of people who haven't. And I think that is a key differentiator. Yeah. Grant, thoughts? Yeah, I couldn't agree more with that. The trusted advisor piece is something that Gartner talk about a huge amount and mm -hmm. it's starting to appear in a whole bunch of different publications. The reality is, is that that is, is hard to do, but it takes, again, it takes a lot of effort and coaching. Being in front of your customers, giving them insight on the industry, helping, yeah. getting them to come to you to solve problems rather than just order is, is crucial. Being that person that they understand, understands your industry, understands their pain points and is able to consistently come back and, and help them with that is, is, is crucial. Um, yeah. So that's really, really important. Yeah, one of the things we're spending a lot of time on now is really trying to get people to have a far deeper understanding of their clients than they have had previously. A lot of clients we see have a very superficial understanding of you know, all the schedules and a bit of history maybe around relationships, but don't really understand what are the key business and value drivers that we can actually align to with the solutions we've got. And that for me is being a real differentiator in some of my clients in the marketplace at the moment. Yeah. And I would add one thing to that is that just the, you should test the relationships that you have. How strong yeah. are those relationships? And when I say relationship, I'm not talking about going and playing golf or going for a drink or lunch or whatever. I'm talking about, do they see you as that trusted advisor? Can you pick up the phone to the COO, the CEO, or the CTO and get that meeting? Is that, are you, is that how strong your relationship is? And I think that's, that really sorts the, the weak from the strong in terms of uh, relationship management. I've got a, I've got a lovely...